again folks and welcome back to this week's video. So it seems more than ever people are talking about the GameCube. It is a super fun console to collect for but it is getting more and more expensive. You can just look at the prices of some of the games and they have gone through the roof. We're talking your Pokemon Coliseums, your Super Smash Bros, your Eternal Darkness and especially your Zelda games. These games are already super expensive. But what if you are just starting to collect for the GameCube or just want to boost your collection? How can you pick up some cheap games to add into that collection? Well recently I've been perusing CX's website and there is some super cheap GameCube games on there. They may not be the most exciting titles but these titles are only going to get more expensive as more and more people start to collect for the GameCube. So today I want to answer the question, is it worth buying cheap GameCube games from CX? Let's find out. Just before we jump into the video, here's your weekly reminder to subscribe to the channel. I put new videos out every single Saturday and I really want to see you every single week. So please hit that like button and hit that subscribe button now onto the video. So here we have the stack of games I've ordered from CEX. And as you can see, there is quite a few here. But before we jump into all these awesome GameCube games, I just want to talk about one other website where you can pick up games super cheap at the moment, and that is Music Magpie. They often actually have a four for five pound offer. Again, some of these are not the most exciting games of all time, but you can add games that are missing into your collection for about one pound twenty-five each. I don't even with postage. I don't know where you can even get games cheaper now, other than like car boots. So you can pick them up for maybe a pound, and you haven't even got to leave the comfort of your home. But what kind of condition are these games going to be in? Let's find out. Let's jump into the first of these packages then from Music Magpies. They've actually sent them in a reasonably decent kind of padded envelope. So as I said, I'm just trying to fill in some of the gaps in my collection with a couple of these games. One console is really good to collect for is the original Xbox. £1.25 for this copy of The Sims busting out. The case is actually in really, really nice condition, which is good. And it has the manual and the disc. So, one down, and that is good so far. On to the next one, we have another for the original Xbox, and that is The Great Escape. One of the games I just never really got around to picking up. And at £1.25, I'm definitely not going to argue. And again, it is complete. On to the next package then from Music Magpie. So, so far these are going pretty well. It always confused me how you have different packaging, it seems, from the same website. So next game we have is NBA Live 2002. It was just one of the random kind of sports games I'm missing from my original Xbox collection. But this may not be the most exciting game ever, but it does make an exciting thing. This game added to my original Xbox collection means I now have 300 games for the original Xbox. That is quite the milestone, and unfortunately though, this one is not complete. But two out of three ain't too bad. And the final game I grabbed from Music Magpie is Guitar Hero on Tour Decades for the Nintendo DS. It's one of those random Guitar Hero games I hadn't picked up yet. This one is fully complete and obviously had the cartridge inside. So all four of these games I managed to pick up for just five pounds delivered but not having to leave the house get cold and car boot on a sunday morning i think that is a pretty good deal back to the gamecube games then so let's go through our first envelope from cx so basically we are hoping we have nice clean games that are complete without the cases being covered in stickers so our first game is charlie's angels and already that has so you got, it's got, I don't know if you can see that there in the camera, it's got some pretty bad residue. It's got a standard CX stick at the top, I'm quite surprised it isn't a price sticker at the bottom. But the main thing is, this game is complete. So that's a pretty good start. A game I've never played, so let me know about any of these games, if they are worth playing, in the comments. Next CX parcel, and the strange thing is with these, it doesn't seem to be any kind of uniform to how they send them. So this is one of the kind of ripped tear envelopes, no padding at all, and they've just kind of taped across it. So some of these are quite a struggle to get into, but I think they have doubled up here. This is because when you order your games from CX, they'll come from whatever store has the game in stock. So the first up, we have the Scorpion King, which of course features The Rock. This is kind of a classic movie tie-in game. Probably isn't the greatest game of all time. Also though, it is complete, which is quite a bonus and no stickers on that case. 
Also, it has the receipt in here for this order. So that's quite a strange way to actually put the receipt for the order in the case. So that's good. No stickers, nice clean case and complete. The other game we have is Splinter Cell Pandora tomorrow. So again, a very nice condition case. No kind of debris on there. And it is, of course, complete. So, so far, CX is looking pretty good. Next game, we once again have a kind of taped up envelope. I got it. This was really difficult to get into, actually. I won't have to tear and rip and tear at this one. So, we have Dark Summit. So, this is kind of a snowboarding game, which was probably overshadowed more by 1080 Avalanche, which is a really good game on the game, even if you have not played it. Once again, no pricing sticker, which is quite interesting, but just a little CX sticker in the corner. And this one is complete once again. So I don't really check the disc. Oh my God, that disc is, I don't know if you can see that on the camera. That disc could be a little bit suspect. It would be quite interesting to see if this one plays. On to the next one, and again, a different kind of way of sending it. I'm quite, I don't know if it's because these are lower value games or because they're like DVD case, they kind of feel they won't get damaged as much in transit, favorites, last words. So this is one I was definitely very pleased to add to the collection. If you've been watching the channel for a while, you know I'm a massive fan of wrestling games, and I did not actually have WWE Day of Reckoning in my wrestling game collection. This one was just three pounds if memory serves me, so it's really good to add a GameCube exclusive wrestling game I did not have in the collection for just over three pounds. And the main thing is it is totally complete. So that one is definitely a really big win. Next one and another rip tear envelope. So, so far we are doing pretty well. Every game has been complete and you know, we're just kind of going through the motions of over these. So another one, this is Lemony Stick. It's a series of unfortunate events, but this one does seem to be a little bit water damaged, which isn't exactly fantastic. The case isn't too bad and it is complete. One thing I was worried about ordering these games is that we wasn't gonna get proper GameCube cases. It's been put in you know, DVD ones, so I'm really glad so far we've got all GameCube cases. But this is definitely the worst of the bunch so far. That water damage is a little bit of a kick. So we're on to the final box. This is one I actually half opened because I did not realise it was from CX being very, very different from the other ones which all fell on my doorstep on the same day. So shout out to my postman. He must have been pretty annoyed delivering all these parcels on the same day. So I have, as I said, slightly opened this one. I have not gone fully into the box though. So one thing that's quite interesting this time, we did get a very nice CX sticker. I don't really know why they decided to throw that in this random one. And once again, we have that really nice recyclable kind of bubble wrap. If you've seen my N64 box game from CX video before, you'll know this is what they wrap some of their more expensive games in, even though there is probably enough wrapping here to wrap the entirety of the games room. So this time we have the final three games. So the first one is Minority Report, another kind of film tying game that I never played. But this is quite a good copy of the game. It's a little bit dusty, it's probably been on the shelves for quite a while, but it is once again complete. So, oh, there's actually possibly one of the worst sticker marks I've ever seen on the back of that case. This one might need to have the case swapped out. That's not bad, that's only one. Another game that I've never actually played, which may, I think it might be exclusive to GameCube, let me know down below in the comments if that's not true, is Zoo Cube. So I think it's kind of a zoo-based puzzle game. Very, very cheap game to pick up on the GameCube though. And it is, of course, complete which is always a bonus. And that's a, that's a pretty clean case on that one, so that's good as well. The final game we have is International Superstar Soccer 2. So I normally would not be picking up football games, but I do have really good memories of ISS, International Superstar Soccer, on the N64. So if this game is anywhere near as good as that, that is gonna be an absolute belter of a game. And more importantly, it is of course complete. There we have it then folks, that is the end of our video and I've managed to add nine complete GameCube games into my collection for under £40 delivered. At the end of the day, GameCube games are getting more and more expensive and it is a really good way to boost that collection. That is a large amount of GameCube games for not a large price, but let me know in the comments below, do you think the price of GameCube games is just going to keep going up and up? Personally I do, so now I think is the time to pick up these games while they're cheaper. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you have and remember to subscribe. It really helps the channel and I put new videos out every single Saturday. So I will see you next Saturday and always keep playing the game. See you soon.